Little Fang is back over here off his latest lit track, yo. You feeling spooky today? I absolutely am feeling spooky today, man. I lost a person. Heck yeah! Let the blood flow. Oh no! Don't go out there and kill my people, Little Fang. That's not what I meant. Welcome back, everybody, to Sort the Court. I am your host this evening, Lord Falcon of... Wait for it. Of the Purple Cape Pim King kingdom and this will be episode number two we checked out the first one last time around and i had some fun playing this we got people our population up to 250 262 as a matter of fact now i'm very curious about what happens beyond this point because now that we have a good population is the mal events going to start showing up are we going to have some issues starting to rise we'll see how this plays out but for now we have little timmy who last time was here and he um offered us candy of him right no no little timmy asked us if we like some ice cream and we said yes little timmy we do indeed enjoy Ice cream. He's a cute little guy. Uh, Mwah, can I have a coin? Yeah, you can have a coin. Mm -hmm. Just one, though. There it is. Yeah, thank ya. There you go, little team. Get on out of here, you silly little cute little bugger, you. Oh, it's Mulder. He's back. You ready for the truth? Aliens have already landed, and they're in our city. You think you're safe? No, we're not safe, Mulder. Absolutely not. <laughs> Worrying won't change, us, won't change anything. They're already here, among us. <laughs> It's so good. It's so good because I can literally see. I can envision Mulder saying that. It's so good. Little Fang is back over here off his latest lit track, yo. You feeling spooky today? I absolutely am feeling spooky mm -hmm. today, man. I lost a person. Heck yeah. Let the blood flow. Oh, no. Don't go out there and kill my people, Little Fang. That's not what I meant. Some nasty bugs have made a, a home out of the, our garden. Can we have some gold to hire the exterminator? Yes. Go ahead and do that. Mm -hmm. 25 gold. Three happiness. Thank you, sire. Our plants are safe. I enjoy the fact that all the stuff that you... Oh. The workers are we captured and recruited have sped up our building process, resulting in more tax income. Ooh! I love the fact that everything you choose actually has... Wowee. It has, like, a big impact in the game down the line. So it's like, you know, it's like there's progression involved, which is actually really, really cool. <laughs> That's awesome. So we have a garden issue. We have to think of the people that we capture are now actually working for us, too. And being taxed along the way, which is actually pretty cool. Oh, it's Yet Yet. He's back. Mom says I need to ask your permit. Yeah, you could go on another adventure, little buddy. Mm -hmm. Last time around, we sent them out and he came back with gold as well. So Yet Yet had a very good adventure for us. Here's the royal advisor. Some villagers are threatening to leave unless we pay them a sum of gold. No. Mm -mm. I will not be held down by these goddamn terrorist threats or hostage situations. Absolutely not. They don't get any money. They leave. Let them leave. Name's Mulder. If you want to know the Um, yeah, I'm gonna hire you again, Mulder. Mulder, we already met, though. I'm gonna go investigate something. You'll be back, Mulder. I know you will, you scumbag. Ooh, who is this baby girl? It's a witch. Oh, that's your name? Just witch, straight up? Not very original, I would say. Uh, there's a bunch of goblins in the lower quarter. I'll slay them for a few gold coins if you want. Do it, baby. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. I'll show those creeps. There you go, witch. She's a good witch, too. She's over here doing us a favor. Killing goblins, apparently. Aw, oh, it's it's a it's a cat named Boots. I wonder if he's like puss in boots. He must be because he's a pussy cat. Oh, you thought I was gonna go somewhere else with that, huh? Yeah, you thought wrong, okay? You gotta get your head out of the gutter here, people. Uh looks like he wants something to pat to someone to pat his belly. Yeah, we'll pat his belly. How you mm -hmm. doing, little pal? Oh, he enjoyed the little belly bad. Get on out of here, you cute little duckins, you. Yeah, I call them a dickens. Actually, I call them a duckins because I, I changed my mind halfway through that sentence or that word. So duckins came out instead, which is not what I was going for. But that's besides the point here. Who do we got here today? Royal advisor. Ooh, the owners of the tavern are making piles of gold and, want, and wish to share some with you. Damn right they do. I almost feel like I'm like, you know, some sort of like mob boss and they kind of like have to pitch like favors at me. Like, you know, it's kind of like, you know, here's your, here's the money that we owe you from having such a good business, you know? We're like the racketeering business of shit over here. I'll go, it doesn't really make sense because we're the king, so it's not really racketeering, but shit, whatever. Whatever, the Sultan's back. Oh, hey, last time we told this guy we were interested in a deal. A caravan of mine wishes to camp in your city for the next few days. Might that be arranged? Yeah. Mm hmm. Okay, so 10 more people um, added. Quite agreeable. We shall work together again, I hope. Last time he was here, I told him he would, um, he, he's welcome to, like, you know, pitch business to us. So he came back for that. So we'll see how that plays out. Military General, one of our prisoners has escaped. May I have some gold put to offer a reward for her recapture? Yeah. Capture that <laughs> goddamn escaped prisoner here. 50 gold. That's a really good, handsome bit of a sum there, I gotta say, for a reward. But okay. I trust you, Military General. Someone's bound to find her soon with this sweet reward. Yeah, no telling me. I'm about to get off my fucking throne over here and find her myself. Peanut the uh, monkey. He's got a shiny coin again. 
Um, last time we said yes and we got like five coin. What happens if we say no? Mm -mm. Oh, he looks sad. He just came over here to our kingdom to offer me gold, and I, I told him no, that his money isn't, you know, no good to me. What an insulting king I am. Oh, is, is that my grandma? Literal grandma or just a grandma? E. I was considering opening up a, a soup shop. You think it's a good idea? Yeah, go ahead. How much money do you need? Mm -hmm. 50, that's fine. Very well, I'll sell my soup in the town square. Ah, people now have a tavern, they have a garden, they have soup. There's a party going on at the tavern tonight. The citizens rejoice, singing and dancing together into the night. Very cool. The Sultan's caravan is resting in town. Our citizens have been trading with them, producing a small amount of tax income. Yeah! Very nice. Population, happiness, and wealth went down a little bit, but we invested a little bit, so that's fine. And we're up to 318 people. Bring in the next people. Who's next? That's my barber, isn't it? Monsieur Mouton. Demand for my services is through the roof. May I have your patient to raise prices? Yeah, as long as the taxes mm -hmm. come to me, my friend, go ahead. Merci, merci. The Barber's Association thanks you. No problem. Monsieur Mouton. Mouton. Military General. A nearby town has asked us to form an alliance with them. Should we use them to beef up our ranks? Yeah, that means more people, mm -hmm. right? Absolutely it does. Sounds good to me. More swords for us. Okay. Now, are we going to have to go fight for them, though? I hope they're not even getting into trouble out there. Monsieur Esprit. Good day, sir. Do you require any haunting services for a small price? I'll scare some people for you. We've normally said no to this in the past. How many people are you going to scare away? I'm curious mm -hmm. about this. One person for five gold. <laughs> Why do you want to scare people away? Oh, well, I'll do it. That's what I know. I know. Believe me, Monsieur Esprit. That's the idea I had, but I was curious about it. Curiosity got the worst of me sometimes. We have a chicken. Buck, 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 buck. I think it's just here to pay a visit. Should we leave it be? Sure, why not? Mm -hmm. Hey! Apparently left behind a golden egg that cost me three coin or something. That's fine. I'll take it. Uh, there's a very stinky kid running around the street. Should we force her to leave to have a bad... Yeah, you put that mm -hmm. kid into that bad. You make him shower. Glad you agree. She won't be happy, though. Of course she won't be. She's a kid. She doesn't take no stinking shower. The Sultan's caravan is resting in town. Our citizens have been trading with them, producing a small amount of tax income. Very nice. Gossip is spreading about a heroic purple witch slaying goblins in the lower quarter. She's becoming something of a folk hero. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Alrighty. Yeah. All those increases, baby. Keep bringing them over here. So far, we're having really good events. I'm happy about all this here thus far. Uh, would you like to buy some flowers for our garden? They're, they're a special low price for you, sir. Yeah, I'll do that. Five gold coins? That's easily done. Plus, the, the happiness went up quite a bit for that. Oh, Grandma's back! Soup shop's been doing well. I came to offer you some of our earnings. Yeah, you're damn right. Give me that money, baby. 15 gold? Very well, here you are. Should I have said no to that? Maybe? I don't know. It's like free gold, though. Uh-oh, Georgie's back. Hey, now here's a deal for you, pal. Give me some of your people's happiness, and I'll hook you up with some gold. Sounds good? Oh, I like gold. But my people are really happy, so I'm going to say no. Mm -hmm. Georgie was here last time, and he basically asked me if I wanted to sacrifice the souls of my people for gold as well. Georgie's a bad dude, man. He's into some really crazy business on the side here. My lord, a man wishes to settle a dispute. He says he is way cool, but his friend says he is not. Do you think he is cool? He's a cool guy. I know him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm sure he'll be happy to hear that. Who's the guy you're asking? I don't know. I don't know. But I know him. He's a cool guy. Military general, the town we made an alliance with is in trouble. Oh, I told you guys they would get into trouble. Yeah, go ahead and help mm -hmm. them out. Yeah, we lost some people. Of course, we promised we would protect them. I guess so. I blame you for this, Military General. The Sultan's caravan has left town as a gesture of goodwill. They left behind a small pouch of gold. Very cool. And we lost a little bit of population there because of the alliance, but it's fine. People are growing. Town's growing. People are happy. Everything's good. Oh, the blacksmith's back. Would you like to purchase any swords for your guards? A well-protected city is a happy city. Yep. Mm -hmm. Good idea. Great, I'll have a shipment of swords sent to your barracks. Thanks a lot for that, blacksmith. By the way, you should probably get a bigger sword yourself. You got a little small rapier there. Not even a rapier, it's it looks like a... It looks like a, a sigh, like the Raphael uses in the turtles. Have you seen my magical cat, Pancake? Uh, yeah, Pancake was here earlier. I pat him on the belly, I think. Mm -hmm. Oh, very good. I knew he was around here somewhere. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure he'll be back for another pat in the belly. Who's this? She's new. Miriam. Oh, what is this strange place I found myself in? Albert, do you know where we are? I'm not Albert. Are you talking to your your owl? My oh my! Hello, you kind you kingly person there. I do believe I'm a bit lost. Might I stay in, the t in this town for a while? I don't know much about you, but sure, we'll see what you wind up doing for us. How nice! Albert and I shall find an inn to stay at. I'm sure I will see you again. Albert seems to like you. 
Well, I mean, he's of the bird variety, much like I am, so, you know, us birds, we stick together. It is nice to see you, sir. Do you like my new haircut? It's, it's very much the same one, Monsieur Mouton, but sure, I'll humor you. Ah, yes, thank you, thank you. You gave yourself a haircut, huh? <laughs> okay, very cool, I guess. I'm the Duke of Spook. Do you want a spooky nickname? Well, last time you, last time you named me the, the Creep King. Mm -hmm. What am I going to be named now? You can be the Creep... I'm already the Creep King, little fang. You forgot, you already named me beforehand. There's a party at the tavern. We got two more happiness, all right. Okay, very cool. And we're up to 402 people. All right. Bring on the next batch. Builders wish to construct more houses in the town? Yes. More houses means more people for us. 100 gold? It's worth it. I shall bring this to, uh, to them right away. Our city grows. Damn right it does. Damn right it does. Oh, no, it's Georgie. Georgie's now hidden like... <laughs> He's dressed up like an angel because obviously he looks very demon-like in his appearance. He's a little devil. The first time he asked me to sacrifice souls for gold, then he said... Um, happiness for gold. Now he's over here trying to fool me. This is awesome. Hey, um, good friend. I thought you might be interested in making a deal. A good, wholesome, friendly deal. What's the deal this time, Georgie? Yeah, and an angel, such as myself, could offer you lots of happiness. It would cost you some gold, though. How about this? A few hundred gold from you, and I'll make sure your citizens are happy. Can we really trust this dude? <laughs> I feel like he's gonna basically take the gold. A few hundred gold. Oh, no, no, no. No, you jerk. Get out of here. Dang it! What's a guy got to do to make a deal around here? <laughs> I'm glad we said no. Well, who knows what could have happened with that. That guy seems very perturbed, though. Hello, friend. Care to gaze into my... Last time we said no to this. How about we try yes this time? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow! It actually made me happy and gave me gold. I, I thought that he would basically trick me and just basically, like, um, hypnotize me to the crystal ball, and then he would just kind of sing his little fang into me. Like a pervert. Oh, the witch is back. She's a folklore hero, too, now. Or folk town hero, I guess. Uh, I've got a friend from witch school looking to move to town. Could I get a couple of gold to help her move in? Um, yeah. As long as she looks like you, baby. Go ahead and bring her on in. Thanks, this will help her get her settled. Yeah, you damn right it will. <laughs> you damn right it will. Oh, Bubbles is back. Wait, well, not Bubbles. You're Peanut. Yeah, yeah, I'll say yes. Last time I said no to him, and he was very upset I didn't take his money. So I don't want to you know, upset the poor guy. Population. People are happy. The city's growing. Up to 440, 450 people now. Pretty good. Pretty good. Hello, friend. Care to gaze into my magical vampire crystal? Um, this just happened not long ago. Are you tricking me, Little Fang? I'm gonna say yes again, but, um... <gasps> little Fang! I see dead and misery! Did my, my luck just turn for the worse or what? Oh no, the spooky skeleton is back. Any mysteries afoot? I can do some snooping for a small fee if you're interested. Yeah, yeah, go find out if anything's happening here. I will uncover the truth and report back to you. Uh, be careful, because Mulder's out there, too, looking for the truth, so... Oh my god, aliens! You haven't been talking to Skelly, have you? Uh, uh... Yeah, as a matter of fact, he was just here before you. Here, take this. I was never here, okay? <laughs> he gave me 50 gold. He's trying to pay me off or something. Oh, who are you? You look like a giant bee. Or like a honeycomb or something. Madame Abel. Bonjour, my name is Madame Abel. A... A bee? A bee? Hmm. I wonder if I could play on words or something. And I've kind of joined your court. Will you have me? Um, sure, I guess. Mm -hmm. How sweet. I'm sure many wonderful adventures await us. What's your game plan here, Madame Abiel? Reporting in, I solved the mystery about who stole Mrs. Pumpkin's baking pan. Wanted me to turn him in? Um, sure. I wasn't mm -hmm. even aware there was a missing baking pan. Three happiness, one person last. Oh, it's off to the dungeon for him. <laughs> I like how willing this guy is to do like a good thing, you know? Like, he's like a skeleton that's over here abiding by the rules of society, having people locked up and everything. Ghostly figures are seen drifting around the graveyard. The spirits appear to have become angry. Uh oh, that can't be good. That can't be good at all, man. I wonder if it's having to do with the little fang crystal ball thing. He mentioned that he saw debt and misery ahead of us. I was just passing through and thought you might take, like, some magic. Anything could happen. Care to give it a try? Last time we did this and it gave us good luck. Let's roll the dice again, mm -hmm. baby. Oh, 200 gold. A spell of great fortune. Yeah, you're telling me. 200 gold is quite a bit. The owners of the tavern are making piles of gold and wish to share some with you. Ah, very good. Just keep piling the gold on. Sultan, I've got a business proposition for you. Yeah, yeah. I want you to come mm -hmm. back and bring your caravan and make some gold for me because that's what you did last time. Better be good money this time, too. Oh, the witch is back. The spirits cry out they are angered. 
we must uh, make a sizable offering to put ourselves back in their favor. It will take at least 1,000 gold, and I can perform the ceremony to remove the haunting. 1,000 gold? No, I don't got that type of money right now. Then these huntings will surely continue. Dark powers are at work here. Oh, man. What if she's swindling me? What if her friend's the one who did this, huh? The one that she told me to bring over? Some very strange creatures wish to move into the house we build. Should we allow it? What do you mean, strange creatures? Um, sure, I guess. Mm -hmm. Of course, all are welcome in our town. How strange are we talking about, though, here, huh? Spooky spirits! Negative four happiness. Villages are up in arms about recent hauntings. The guards have to pay overtime in order to keep things under control. Oh, no! Merchants are scared to visit town due to rumors of hauntings. This causes the loss of some trade. No! It's all falling apart! The kingdom's falling apart, guys! We need to get up to a thousand gold really, really quickly here. Alright, I need some money propositions. I've got good news for you. The city's population has reached 500. Ooh! Oh, we're almost up to a thousand now! The townspeople are celebrating. There's a huge festival in the square. Our growing population will demand even more happiness now. Be sure to keep our approval high. I'm trying to. I need to get that, um... That exorcism to <laughs> take place. Anyways, I just wanted to give my congratulations. Let's work hard, okay? Yeah, you got it. Mm -hmm. I wonder just how big the city will grow under your rules, sir. Well, I'm curious about it too, but um, now I'm worried about this um, ghost haunting. Oh, Chester's back! You ever see a treasure chest do a backflip? No. Mm -mm. Well, you're not going to... Oh, Chester, come on. You can't leave me hanging that way. I wanted to see it happen. Mulder's back. You ready for the truth? Aliens have already landed and they're in our city. You think we're safe? Yeah, I think we're safe. I saw him earlier. He was a good guy. I think so, too. Why would they want to harm us? <laughs> That's true. Mulder never really wanted to stop the aliens. He just wanted to know about them. He wanted the truth out there. The extra food we've been able to store in our granaries are, have attracted more settlers. Shall we let them in? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Ooh, very good. We'll have settled them in at once. Excellent. I want some more money, though, man. Oh, there it is. 939. Our soldiers are coming home, and our assistance in defending our allies was not gone unnoticed. Uh, we've been offered a bounty of gold by the captain of their military, a good fellow. Very nice. We're up to 939. We're almost up to 1,000, guys. The festival in the town square celebrating the uh, town's fifth, fifth, or 500. 500! Sorry, I can't talk now. 500 citizen is still growing, uh, going strong, bringing happiness to all those who attend. Ah, uh, yeah, the spooky spirits. Yeah, yeah, I know. Oh, no! 50 is what it costs every single day for that, huh? Oh, shit, man. I need to get, like, um, enough money to get this um, exorcism to happen. Alright, witch, don't show up yet. I'm gonna pay you, but I need a little bit more money. Um, last time we did this, we said yes, it gave us a lot of money. Can it happen again? I need some money right now. <gasps> yes! We got the thousand now! Bring the witch! Bring the witch right now! That's not the witch, that's a jester. Um, how many funds are you talking about for this show, man? I'm gonna say no for now, because mm. I need to pay off the witch. I'm sorry. No money to be giving it away. No, you know what? I, I feel you were the one mm. behind this entire haunting business, because the moment I looked into your ball, you said Dead and Misery was about to show up, and then it did. Oh, Miriam's back. Hello again. Kingly person? Oh, Albert asked me to come here and tell a story with you. A yellow bird meets a green bird in the sky. Does the yellow bird soar higher than the green? Um, sure. Mm -hmm. The yellow bird wheels through the sky. She shimmers in the sunlight. Oh, how lovely. Oh, I bet the green bird is probably happiness and the gold. The yellow bird is the gold one. High up in the sky, the yellow bird meets a blue bird. Does the yellow bird stop to sing with it? Yes. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Oh, the sweet musical notes of the two new friends fill the air. The singing attracts a flock of nearby birds, all of shapes and colors. The sky is filled with song. Oh, what a lovely ending to the story, don't you think? Albert liked it. I will have to come visit you again sometime, kingly person. It's fun to tell stories with you. Yeah, I know, me too, because you just gave me free stuff for nothing. Where's the witch at? Our granary stock has been infected. It'll cost us to replace it, but if we don't, people could get sick. Should we do it? Oh, yeah, I guess. How much money are we talking here? 70? Okay, we still have enough for the witch thing, though. Come on, witch! No! It's gonna cost us 50 gold here for today, because, um, yeah, there it is. We're at 999. This witch better not show up right now when I'm, like, missing one gold, though. I'll tell you this much right now. People are growing, okay. Don't come here yet, witch. <gasps> oh, the robot got fixed! I'm truly sorry about earlier. My circuits were quite fried. I offered my thanks for your help? Sure. Mm -hmm. Oh, 100 gold! Quite logical. <laughs> I love that he's talking, like, perfectly fine now. Before he was, like, a giant mess. Um, yeah, yeah, trade mission for sure, man. Mm -hmm. Ooh, more money. Quite agreeable. We shall work together again, I hope. Bring the goddamn witch, though. Where's she at? Eyeball? 
No, last time you stole money from me. No, no, get out of here, eyeball. Ah, we got some happiness. Yeah, yeah, good. He's not gonna swindle me this time. <gasps> there she is! My broom's all worn out and it's my birthday. Think you could buy me a new broom for a present? Um, uh-oh. Mm -hmm. That's not what I was hoping for. I was hoping for the, um, the haunting thing. Thank you so much, you're the best. Is there a... Do you guys think that we probably screwed ourselves out of, like, getting that fixed now that we had... I mean, it seems kind of, like, silly, though. Like, we had... We didn't have enough money at the time. Hmm. Oh, well. No, get out of here, little fang. I don't trust you anymore, you jerk. It's either him or the witch's friend who caused that haunting to happen. All right, we're about to lose 50... Oh, hey, no haunting this time around. Maybe fixing the broom was enough. Maybe she did me a solid. I don't know, but there was no hauntings tonight. Uh, can I trouble you for a sandwich? Yeah, sure, you got a sandwich, Mason. Mm -hmm. Fantastic, I'm excited to eat this. Uh, I hope you enjoy it, huh? Yeah, it's on me, buddy. Who's here? Oh, want me to steal from the rich and give to you? Not just the rich, I'll steal from whoever, basically. <laughs> no, get out of here. Mm -hmm. Taking the high road, huh? I'll see you around. <laughs> That's the second time we've seen this person, too. Hey, we have a new person here, the butler. My liege, there is a man in the foyer asking to join your guard. He's got an eye patch, looks a little shifty. Oh, he's probably a pirate or something. What do you think? Should we take the chance on a stranger? Uh, sure. Mm -hmm. Indeed, more swords will help us. I want to meet this guy now, because I want to see how shifty he actually is. Gardener, some plant people have sprouted in the gardens. Are we allowed to make them officials? Uh, plant people? Um, sure mm -hmm. for now, but this feels kind of sketchy at the same time. I will inform them at once. Plan people, plan people. Oh, yeah, blacksmith again. Uh, would you like to purchase any swords for your guards? Yeah, I normally like to do that. Mm -hmm. It's pretty good for the happiness. Where's the eye patch guy, though? I wonder. Alrighty, what's happening here? People are happy. City's growing. We're at 614, 232, and 1126. What do we have here? Oh, it's little Timmy again. Can I have friends come over and play? Yes, you can. Um, you know what? We're going to wrap up the episode here, guys. Uh, I guess I'm not sure what else happens with this game, but uh, unfortunately, there is no save system. So after this, I'm going to basically lose my progress. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's a free game. Check it out. If you guys get farted in this, um, let me know what happens, because I'm sure there's got to be more to it. But um, I'm not sure if I'm going to continue covering it at this point, because i got to like, take off, and there's no save system. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, information below will be... No, down below in the description. Free game, as I mentioned. Free download. Check it out if you want to. Let me know how it is. Let me know if you get better, you get farther in and see what else happens. I'm very curious about it. I will catch you next time.